just turn on there. Ah, this time it's recording. <laughs> I have to do the whole video again now. <laughs> well, just the intro. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode of Unplug TV Australia. It's good to have you back on the channel. <laughs> Second time. So, and um, while I'm waiting here at the UQ to charge the car, I want to do some testing afterwards in regards to the regen braking. Um, for this, I want to test, I want to set the car to low regen braking, yeah? From standard to low. Usually everyone is driving in standard, which is the normal one pedal driving, and it gives you a strong regen braking when you take your foot off the accelerator. So the question is, do you get more regen when you brake additionally to the regen braking? That was what I showed in one of my videos a while back when I was driving and I had the car in neutral and there was no regen braking at all. When you press the brake in the Tesla, it breaks. It used the friction brake on the wheels and brakes. There, there's no there's no regen happening. It's, it's totally different to the Outlander PHEV where you can put the car in B0 and then let it coast and press the brake pedal slowly and it regens first and eventually the friction brake comes along as well if you brake harder. Obviously, this is different in the Tesla. And someone commented under this video and said, well, this is because you put the car in neutral. And that's exactly what I did because the Tesla cannot coast. You always have the connection. If you take your foot off the accelerator, it slows down. You've got the region to standard or low, but it always slows down. It's very hard to measure. If you put the car in neutral, there's no actual, all your pedals, your, your gas pedal is disconnected from the car. You cannot accelerate anymore. If you take your foot off, it just coasts, it rolls. But to stop it, you have to press the brake pedal and then it brakes. But this uses the friction brake, of course. No region at all, nothing. So the test will be to have the car in low region. So it does some kind of region. And later on, we will see this here on the Tesla watchdog. We will see the kilowatt here, Max. Um, now we will see the kilowatts in the motor generated while braking. And then I will additionally press the brake pedal a little bit and see if we can increase these numbers when I do that. And we will do this several times to make sure this is consistent. And I have also found a high, a super high elevation mountain. I hope I've got, do I have my oxygen mask with me? It's so high. Yeah, so it's probably a hundred, a hundred meters high or so <laughs> above the ground here. This is the highest out. This is, this is the outlook in Lately, the Cunningham outlook in Lately. This is probably the highest point we can find here in the area. So we will go to the outlook and then drive down again and we do the same downhill. Let the car coast in low region settings and see if we can see an increase in region while we are braking additionally. I doubt we will. I think the brake is the brake here in the car. If you press the brake, it brakes. It uses the friction brake to slow down the car. But we will find out right now. I'll unplug now and um, we are on the move. Um, yeah, well, uh, I've got the car in low region now and we can also see the region power here as a green line under the P. So um, this is also an indicator if we can increase the actual, hopefully she's not smashing into me now. It's a big car. Let's do this. Put the car in drive and off we go. So on the Tesla watchdog, you just need to focus on this one figure now, on the motor rear power. Well, I've got only a rear motor, so, oh, the car does not break. I need to, <laughs> that is so different in low region. Oh my God. <laughs> I really need to break. <laughs> the car really doesn't slow down that much anymore. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that is almost not existent. Jeez, I need to be aware of that. 
usually it's totally fine. You drive in standard in one pedal driving, you know, take your foot off. This, no, this doesn't slow down. It takes forever. Eh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Oh, it does not uh, slow down. Kind of regen can we see so far? 13.5 kilowatts regen power. Well, this is a 30 kilometer limit zone, zone limit here. So I don't want to, you don't want to speed here at the UQ, you know, you don't want to do that. So again, 11 kilowatts. We are seeing, huh? That is so. <laughs> So different. We have 13.5 kilowatts. Is this the maximum already we see, or is it just because we are driving so slow? We will see in a minute. We're heading towards the. Um, uh, well, this is a 100 kilometer road up there, and this yeah will bring us. You can see the mountain in the background actually there. This is where we go. This is probably 100 meters high. Maybe it's higher. I don't know. Okay, I just have to go now after this car here. Just takes too long. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. 100 kilometers per hour. <coughs> Autopilot, 100. Let's do 100, it's nice and flat road here. And I'll just disengage autopilot now and see what we get on maximum regen power, all right? Okay, it's off. 30, 40, oh, we see 50 kilowatts. Wow, wow, wow. But now it tapers off, 30. There's no car behind me. 27. All right, we're getting 50 kilowatts at these speeds. Okay, back in autopilot. Okay, so next time I will brake additionally and see if we can increase, increase the um, regen braking. Okay, take it off. Okay, I'm braking now, I'm braking. Stop braking. Braking again. No. I don't see anything increasing when I press the brake. Nothing. Okay, let's try again. One hundred and regen. Thirty. I'm braking, stop braking, braking, stop braking. Now, seems to be limited to, to around 30 kilowatts, right? Okay, let's try this again. One more time. Just wait for this car to stay there. Okay, let's see, 100. Okay, take my foot off. Yeah, it's about 30, braking, braking harder. No, there's nothing. There's nothing happening. 30 kilowatts is the maximum we can see. All right, guys, um, I'll drive to the Outlook and be right back. Oh, that's interesting. Um, you can see the car here on the screen, yeah? When I do the full region now, just now, there are no brake lights going on. There's no brake light. Like before, it used to brake light. Now it's coming on when you slow down a little further, but at these speeds, there's no brake light. While before on standard, the brake, uh, the brake light comes on immediately when you take your foot off and you do hard regen. No brake light. Now we slow down to about 50, yeah, then it comes on 55, then the brake light comes on. That's a big difference. Okay, let's try again. 100. Okay, take my foot off. It's completely off. No brake lights, nothing, nothing, nothing. Here they come on. 55 around. Okay, so we are driving up the hill now to the um, Outlook, Cunningham Outlook in Lately. This, this is the only elevation we have here, basically. See this? 
road up here. That's, that's probably not even a hundred meters high. So I've done some more testing while driving here. I could not see more region than um, 31 kilowatts doing 100 and taking your foot completely off the accelerator 31 kilowatts that's a maximum regen we can get on low setting is that that's on low so and now I've tested the Outlander PHEV on this hill here as well and it barely made it in full electric up this hill here it barely made it it used the 40 you can see we're using 41 kilowatts now with the outlander uh, with the uh, with the test lander already up this hill on this yeah it's 45 and this was always the threshold before the engine kicked in which which i didn't want of course so going up this hill of course the test lander can easily do it easy okay so we have to go right to the lookout but this is high enough for us for our testing so I'll just turn around now just make sure this is all set up and running now uh, drive around here that seems to be recording webcam is recording all right let's do this same test as before I, I just do it once, I don't want to go up here again. We just do it once, all right? So, driving down this road, 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, take my foot completely off the accelerator. It's completely off. I probably have to speed up a little bit. Otherwise we don't get to the max 60. Yeah, here we go. 70 okay I'm braking now we've got 30 kilowatts I'm braking you can see the brake lights come on the green bar stays I'm off the brake braking again there's nothing changing so we don't get much we don't get more regen when braking and this is as expected before I just do it again here okay braking now off the brake you can see the green bar and the number braking now off the brake now there's nothing nothing happening in regards to more regen when you brake so definitely if you brake in the Tesla it breaks it uses the friction brake there's no additional regen power going into the battery being used this is totally mechanical friction braking power well the next question is who is using the low regen braking I mean you can get used to that of course but is it worth it you are definitely using more friction brakes it, it uses more the brakes than the, the mechanical brake yeah, no, there's nothing happening and just try it again You have to be far more careful when you drive, how you drive, and take your foot off the accelerator a lot earlier than before. So in case in case of an emergency, for example, you take your foot off and the car, well, it slows down a bit, but this is very much co in comparison with the um, normal ICE car, you know? You take your foot off and you've got the engine braking then kicking in. So it slows down a little bit. You can manage that, but if you need additional brake power you need to push the pedal the brake pedal so there's in my eyes there's no benefit from leaving the settings uh, driving on low for the region braking than in standard standard is bang fairly strong we can try the same again in standard region power here down this hill 
so let the car regen and I'm braking additionally no nah, there's nothing happening no nah, no nah. it does not increase your regen power when you brake in a Tesla I, I assume this is the same for the Model S and Model X as well all right guys so far this test from today let me know what you think about this so definitely if you brake in a Tesla it breaks there's no additional regen power generated there's no additional power going into the battery at all this is friction brake this uses your brake pads and discs so why would you do that I don't I can see the point when people saying oh the standard regen power is too strong because I'm just switched over from an ice car to a Tesla or electric vehicle and I want less regen braking but there's no actual need for that because with these battery sizes you don't let the car coast like in the PHEV or with you have smaller batteries or you are in need of of coasting you know you don't do this in a Tesla because the battery is so huge and it, it, it's not much benefit if you get 10% more out of the battery that's like 30 kilometers you know in an emergency yes you can do that but usually you don't you don't so I don't know I don't see the point of having it in low region braking but this was not the matter of the test the test was actually to see if pushing the brake pedal generates power into the battery which it doesn't all right guys as always thank you so much for watching thanks for coming with me to the Cunningham lookout almost and doing this test um, yeah well I'm Andy signing off you stay charged stay safe and we will see us again in the next video very soon see you then thank you bye bye